Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam and if you're new my name is Sharon and today I'm going to share with you my 2021 Happy Planner mini haul and setup. Now most of the items that I'm going to be sharing here with you today came from either cloth and paper, Etsy, Fancy Plans, and my cover came from Nautique. And of course my Happy Planner came from Happy Planner. Um, this is an 18 month planner. I usually keep at least 12 months in at a time. Um, it is my catch-all planner. I do everything out of one planner. Uh, I find it a little too daunting for me to have more than one. Uh, my, my one planner and my phone pretty much is all that I need. If I'm out and about and I needed to schedule something on the fly, I'll usually put it in my phone. And then I can transfer it from my phone into my planner and everything is here at my fingertips in one place. I don't have to look around. I don't have to figure out where I put something and in which planner did I do it. <laughs> so I've done transformer planners and I've done Franken planners and I like them. I like them both. They all serve a purpose. But this year, this year I've pared down and I don't think that I will be Franken planning at this moment. Don't hold me to it because it is subject to change. I do believe it's all just going to be in one planner. We'll see. So I picked up uh, the book club planner from Happy Planner. It is the classic size. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. Hold on, wait a minute. You know what guys? I don't think I wanna use this one. I'm going to use this planner because uh, it has a more muted color and I was going with a more muted minimal look this year and I believe this plays, this color theme plays right into what I had in mind as opposed to the other planner which was more colorful. And this one is called the, um, it's a horizontal layout. I believe this one is called Leopard Everything. This is a 12 month planner as opposed to the other one was an 18 month planner. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so I'm going to be using my planner covers that I got from Fancy Miss Fancy Plans which I think are absolutely beautiful. Home sweet home. Uh, I think it fits right into the home decor and DIY channel that I have here on YouTube. I love that. So let's take this off. I am not really that much into the leopard print, so to speak. I really love the color theme of this more than anything. Um, I think that's pretty. This matches my Nautique planner cover. You'll see that later. So you get a welcome card. And then here's your hello page. This blank planner belongs to. I'll fill that in later. And then here's the calendar for 21, uh, 2021 and 2022. Oh, I see. Okay, so these are the weekly. And then you have your spread layout for each month broke down by the weeks. I like to use this portion of my planner to uh, list my social media, my Instagram posts and my Pinterest post um, so that I can have it at a glance. I don't have to fumble all the way through the planner to find it. It can be right here in the front. Um, but it is a bit redundant because I do plan on having a real estate section and a social media section in this planner. But my realtor's planner has not come in yet. I'm going to have to do an update for when that does arrive. And then you have your January dashboard here, which I like. And then here's your first um, leopard print monthly divider. I don't particularly care for these. I more than likely will be changing these out and creating my own. But I love the muted colors here. The blush for January. And this is your monthly outlook with notes over here on the side. <laughs> this is about as close as I come to having a vertical planner. Uh, I am not a vertical planner user because I write a lot. I write quite a bit uh, and most people prefer uh, with Happy Planner. The vertical layout is very difficult to get exactly what I need in a horizontal planner uh, with Happy Planner because they seem to gear more towards vertical as opposed to horizontal. 
and this is December, January. It starts at Monday and it ends at Sunday. And then here's your February. Here's your February dashboard and your February divider. This one I like. I think this one is really pretty. I can see this one staying. Let's see, what does March look like? I like March too. But what's not to love? It's navy blue. Let's see, April. Let's put leopard on everything. Let's not and say that we did. It's not ugly. It's, it, it's cute. I like the brown, but I'm just not, that's just not me. So again, I will be covering that. And then May actually matches the planner cover. I think that's pretty. That one will probably stay. You are golden. I think that's nice. Do your thing. I think that's pretty. It's a little muted. I like that. That one will probably stay. July. Again, muted. That will probably stay. You have nothing to lose. I like the quote, but I don't care for the graphics on here. So that one will be changed. May all your vibes say, I got this. I like this one because, again, it mimics the actual planner cover, which I won't be using. So that's cute. Yeah. See, um that will be covered change the world by being yourself that's pretty I like that and I can do with the brown that's that's good and then here is December which is also nice very minimal so I'm sure that one will stay too I usually keep the whole 12 months in I don't add a lot of sheets to this even though this year I will be adding some note sheets uh, per week and I will also be adding a realtor section and a social media section so she shouldn't get too chunky but um, yeah I will keep 12 months in my catch-all and that's pretty much what this is my catch-all planner I picked up some um, planner rings the expander rings from Happy Planner. I have them in silver, I have them in gold, and I have them in fuchsia. So I think I'm going to use silver. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to change to silver because I do, however, have an A5 agenda that has gold in it. So I was thinking about switching this out. I'm not sure, but I do need to make that decision in the next few minutes. <laughs> And then I got some uh, bookmarks. I got these bookmarks from uh, Amazon and I thought they were so pretty. Uh, they were of the blue hue and then some that were in more of a rose hue. So that's like a pink, a mauve, a black, a green, and a tan. And this is a light blue, like a light smoky blue. Um, that's a tan. That's a deeper smoky blue. That's a denim, and that's like a navy blue. And I love this, and anyone who's been watching my channel for any length of time knows my favorite color is navy blue. I love blue. So I got two packs of these. I tried to get an Ollie clip, but I couldn't, I couldn't find one that I liked. Um, in the large, I wanted the jumbo, super large Ollie clip, and I saw it on Amazon. Uh, but it was going to take forever to get here. So I know it was outside the country. And I was like, nah, that's okay. I'll just go with the, the ones that I picked up, which I thought was cute. This is my first order that I've ever received from Cloth and & Paper. And uh, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with what I found and what I ordered in the packaging. I just thought it was so pretty. Let me move these out of the way. So these are some freebies that I received, I guess put that to the side and let's open this up I don't even really remember what I ordered I ordered a pocket folder for my a5 agenda planner so stay tuned for my a5 planner setup as well that's going to be on my other channel creative glam crafts um, I will link 
no because it won't be out yet so make sure you stop by my uh, my second channel creative Glenn crafts to see the a5 agenda planner set up and haul and then I also got some rose colored sticky notes I thought that was so pretty I'm loving those colors and then I picked up some it grew sticky notes again there's a theme here I see happening so that is one of the reasons I will be changing out my planner cover on my happy planner because um, again I'm going with the more muted shades here I love that and then these are some freebies that I got from cloth and paper And I looked here to try and get an Ollie clip, and they didn't, um, they had run out. There was, it was out of stock. And these are some stickers. May your streets be paved with gold. I got some cards. Make it simple, but significant. <laughs> got a December card. A memo card and a thank you card. Oh, I get 25% off. I get 10% off $25 or more. And I will be placing another order here soon uh, once I get both planners set up uh, for anything that I still may be missing. So I'm sure I will be play, uh, placing another order soon. I love it. And then I ordered some. Um, rub on stickers and my thinking with this I got this from Etsy this came from an Etsy shop I believe these came from an Etsy shop called Mac and blank and they are uh, it's a set of three these are gold foil stickers and the reason that I got these is I was thinking I would be able to put one of these on a, um, that I would make my own vellum. I was going to DIY my own dashboard. Then I also placed another order here from, um, uh, This order came from Fancy Plans, Little Miss Fancy Plans. Um, if you haven't seen Kita's channel, uh, At Home with Kita, she has a planner shop as, as well as an Etsy sticker shop. And so I ordered these from her. Um, so yeah, it's uh, Little Miss Fancy Plans. I'm excited to use these. She had the most beautiful planner covers and that's what I'm gonna be using on my happy planner today. I also picked up some sticky notes, which I thought were cute. Again, going with, with, with that theme, I've got the egg, egg crew, I have the moth, and then I have the line tan. I also got a uh, inbox to go in the front of the planner. Uh, this is a, I think this is a vellum. And I love these in the front of my planner. I love to stick my little uh, post-it notes to it uh, when I'm brainstorming or when I'm working. Sometimes when I'm working in the middle of, of a project, I need somewhere to place those sticky notes to keep them corralled so that I don't have a desk full of post-it notes. I try and keep them in a uh, in one place and that this inbox, this dashboard inbox is perfect for that. It's pretty sturdy. I considered laminating this and I just might. I just might laminate it. We'll see. And then here are the covers, which I think are absolutely beautiful. I bought two sets uh, because again, I wasn't sure if I had decided to Frankenplan. 
I thought this cover was absolutely beautiful. It says home sweet home. And you've got a chair with a pink throw and you've got a bed. This is home, home sweet home. And that's what it looks like on the back. Let's open this up. And I thought this was perfect. That's the front and that's the inside. So they're the, the, are they the same on the front and the back? They are, they're absolutely the same. So this is the back that says Fancy Plans. Little Miss Fancy Plans and then this is the front. And this is more than likely going to be the cover of my new 2021 Happy Planner. But I saw this one and I, oop, but I saw this one and I couldn't resist. I thought it was beautiful too. Again, it was very home decor. And I just thought that was beautiful. I love that. I love both sides. I think she did an awesome job on these covers. Very pretty. Dun, 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 dun. And here it is, people. Ah, uh, my Notique planner cover. I have watched people unbox their planner covers. So I knew what to expect, but it's still beautiful. I love the way she packages these planners. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's simply beautiful. So these are the, let's see what's in here. This is a um, it's a writing pad with her logo on it. You can see that. Yeah, it's got a logo on it. Gorgeous. And then what is this? This is oh, this is her mission statement. No Teak is an impact focused global lifestyle brand that celebrates and empowers the world's most ambitious women. We design thoughtful, innovation, innovative products and high quality, sustainable material that inspires you to live an elegant, organized and productive life. So she goes on to talk about what her company is about. Warmly, VJ. Okay, Vivian. Gorgeous. I love that. And then she gives you what is this? A thank you card. Thank you for choosing to support Notique this year. You are a part of my elegant story and I honor you. May this season and the new year be full of long, be full of love, grace, joy, and peace. You are important to me with love, VJ. Oh, that's sweet. Is it handwritten? It is. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And now, oh, I love the paper. Um, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, I have saw other people unbox their planner covers and uh, I am too going to be saving this tissue paper because it is so pretty. This Greek key um, print on here is very pretty. I do know that there could be another use for this paper. So I will be opening gently as well. At least that is my goal. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, in the dust cover. So it's in a dust cover, and it looks like it's like a taupe colored um, dust cover. Oh my, that's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm going to open. Oh, let me do this. And then I'm going to open. Ah, I'm excited. This is gorgeous. I will be keeping this dust cover. I don't know if I'll be re reusing it for my planner because I usually keep my planner on my desk, but the dust cover is very pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. There she is. Look at that, she's matching my nail polish. Oh, 
she's gorgeous look at that oh my goodness she is slightly textured i thought she was not going to be but i don't you're not picking that up i can't pick it up on my camera there we go she is textured it's a textured print with the new Notique logo. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. Mm. Now this is, oops. Now this planner size is the midi. This is gonna fit my classic size happy planner. Look at that. Somebody look at this. Look at that. With the gold. I'm so glad I used gold. Uh, I used my gold um, extender rings. Look at that. The accents in there are gold. The hardware on here is gold. So I'm glad I went with gold. I almost went with rose gold, but I'm glad I went with gold. So over to the side, we've got. I mean, it's your standard cover uh, with a lot of space, which I love. So that means my extender rings should fit. And then over to the left and to the right, we've got pocket folders. I've got some pocket folders over here. That's one, two, three. I've got four pocket folders here. And then I've got two pocket folders over there. I love that. That's a lot of pockets. That's pretty good. And then over here, so you've got a pocket back here, which technically the back flap of your planner should slide into here. But then you've got another pocket here and another pocket here. So all together, that's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets. This one here in the front, that's nine. Plus you've got little slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight slots and nine pockets. That's quite a bit. I think that's beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very well made. The stitching is the stitching is on point. I always try to look for that when you're buying quality high-end um, items that have stitching on it. I always look to see uh, where the stitching breaks. That That is an indication of the quality of something that's being stitched. Look at the stitching. And the stitching on here is impeccable. And I didn't even see this. The pin ring, uh, my pin loop is right here on the loop of the take that off on the um closure your your pin loop is here i like that so let me take this apart that's what i'm going to do first okay this can go i'm going to leave the covers on this ring because when the year is over i will take it and put it back in here and store it uh with my older with my other planners I do refer back to those there's something so oddly satisfying about pulling these off it really is it is for me I don't know if it's as satisfying for you all watching as it is for when we do it <laughs> okay. all righty Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too chunky at all. And like I said, this this is 12 months. So, I'm okay with that. I made this um, dashboard. I saw uh, Cloth and Paper has one uh, that I really, I really liked. And uh, I said I can DIY that myself. So, I decided to DIY uh, some of my own inserts and dashboards. I created it. I printed it out. I just finished laminating it. Now I'm gonna hole punch it and add it to the planner. Just round the corners so they're not um, so pokey. 
And then I'm gonna add my um, inbox cover for that layered look. Gorgeous. And then I, you can put a piece of acetate on top of here if you want to. I just happen to have a gold foil dotted dashboard, half dashboard. So with a tab on the top. So I'm just gonna put that here. And it somewhat protects your inbox. Especially if you're not gonna have an out cover if you're just going to open to this it's good to have a piece of acetate or some kind of a dashboard on top of that I love that layered look so that's the front cover home sweet home and then when we open up the first thing you get to is my gold foil dashboard and then my in my inbox or to do and this of course is the dashboard I just made and laminated and then we get to the front cover saying that this planner belongs to and I'll fill that in and then we go back into the dates I'm gonna order my social media inserts uh, they are printables that I'm going to get from Etsy and those will go back here for social media and my real estate uh, planner uh, I ordered from the Board of Realtors so as soon as that comes in I can then place that in here I wanted to use these covers but I just realized because I wanted to use the A5 size but I just realized they're punched my A5 agenda planner I should have I should have gotten them unpunched but oh well so now I'm gonna put this inside my Notique planner cover and do some decorating and layering on the front pockets Alrighty guys, so let's get the planner inside. I definitely do still have some space. That's a whole year. It's 12 months. And I still have space. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love it. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am so glad I went with the gold extender rings. It is a marble and gold pen that I got from Capital Chic Designs. And I think that's absolutely pretty. It is a ballpoint. And it is a 1.7. Almost like a gel, almost like a, uh, uh, almost like a gel pen. It is a very, it, it writes like butter. <laughs> so I am supporting small businesses, Capital Chic Designs. Hmm? And the planner is from Notique. And the inserts are from cloth and paper, and from Etsy, and from Miss Fancy Plans. So it is definitely a small business supported setup for 2021. So now I am going to decorate. I probably won't be doing much decorating back here uh, on the back side, but over here on the pockets, I am going to see what I can get in here to make it look just as pretty as the actual planner does itself oh I just love that I can't help looking at it it's so pretty I love it when it's open and I love it when it's closed that's gorgeous note cards here um, that I created myself um, um, it says when I put my issues in God's hands he puts peace in my heart and that is the truth Work hard in silence and let your success make the noise. Thank you so much for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell and leave me a comment. Let me know, have you set up your planner for 2021? 
I have lots of great videos on my channel. As a matter of fact, there are two linked at the end of this video. Click one to see more home decor and much more from Creative Glam. I appreciate you being here and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a big thumbs up. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.